Hello and welcome back to Rage Gaming. My name is Hollow, and today we have something a bit special for you. Jurassic World Evolution, the theme park sim that was all about running your own version of a Jurassic Park, has its sequel releasing in just a few days, actually, three years after the original's release. We had the special ability to play it a little bit early and share that experience with you. And while I've only had a few hours with the game so far, I can say that overall I've been pretty impressed. The visual quality, the sound design, the detail of everything has been really nice. I mean, theme park sims are all always fun for me, but the question is how long for? In this case, it's the setting and the options they give you that seems to make it a bit special, and hopefully something to play longer term. Evolution 2 does have that detail in spades. I mean, just watching the dinos, the people, the dinos eating the people, I mean, what? It's, it's very satisfying. But the mechanics of it all, you know, giving you direct control of the rangers or whoever, whether you want to manage it from a micro or macro level is really cool too. The extra detail when it comes to entertaining guests with what options you give them and how you manage your fight finances, what stuff you're researching, how you're improving your facilities. There are a lot of options that I don't think the original actually had any issue with. The biggest and fair criticism I saw for the first game was the lacking variety of the setting and the parks in general. Each park you work on would be in a slightly different area, dealing with different things, but overall you're in the same green jungle environment every time. In Evolution 2, the main story mode has us dealing with a world in which dinos are just now a part of, you know, they're part of the overall wildlife. So because of that, we're put into many situations as, you know, North America is dealing with what is just dinosaurs everywhere. With the elements against us, we're having to deal with, say, failed poaching attempts and bring it into a sustainable situation, or recover failed parks and bring them back to life as safely as possible. I've seen three major environments in my time so far, and they've all been pretty different, so hopefully, with this variety and setting in mind, they've maybe addressed the fair complaints of the original. I've been enjoying myself, but how long will that be for? You know, have they given us enough fun scenarios to work with? And hey, you know, there is that sandbox mode to consider as well, if you just want to build something from the ground up yourself. And when we were thinking about what should we do for a video to give you guys a chance to form your own impressions of the game, well, maybe you should just get some actual gameplay from the story mode and see what you think. So enjoy the gameplay, and I'll see you next time. Jurassic World. This, this is where our story begins. A scientific breakthrough without any consideration of the consequences. So nature did what it does and unleashed chaos. This time we were deeper into the illusion of control and the chaos brought something much worse. And for a moment, we remembered how precious life is. From miracles of science to assets destined for exploitation. Perhaps it's time we reflect on the true nature of nature. An endless cycle with one goal, survival. This means that dinosaurs and humanity have to find a way to work out their differences. To us, a desert is a wasteland devoid of anything but the most extreme examples of life. But creatures once thrived in these lands hundreds of millions of years ago. This is where you come in. They've ignored my warnings before, but maybe this time with you, it's going to be different. I'm willing to embrace the uncertainty. Okay, I guess an introduction is in order. Cabot Finch, Assistant Director of the U.S. Department of Fish and Wildlife. I know it sounds important, because it is. <laughs> but let's not get bogged down in labels and titles and organizational flowcharts. I'll make this easy. You work for me. See, nothing to it. <laughs> You'll be working with the experts. This is Claire Deering and Owen Grady. And yes, we have first-hand experience with the dinosaurs. I'm the former operations manager at Jurassic World. Owen and I actually helped build the park. And unfortunately, we were there to witness its destruction. And this is Owen. 
He works with velociraptors. You could call me a dinosaur wrangler, though officially I'm an animal behaviorist. I was just building a level of trust with them when this happens. Okay, so we'll need to get a few things in place ASAP. Start with a response facility, equipped with both a ranger team 4x4 and a capture team helicopter. We are making excellent progress, so let's stay focused. Next step, building a backup generator, then feeding the energy it creates to the response facility, and also make sure the building is connected to the PATH network. It only does us good if it's operational. Hey Claire, we may have trouble tracking this dinosaur from the ground, and even more trouble if we're lucky enough to find it. Then the sensible thing is to take a capture team helicopter. You can trank it from the air. See? I like the way I think. Hmm. Claire, this is Owen. I copy you. We have it. Capture successful. I knew you'd do it. Never had a doubt. Really? Well, maybe one or two. Well, it's better than usual. I'll take it. Now, where do we take this dinosaur? We have the enclosure. We just need you to deliver. Hey, don't I always? Wait, uh, you don't have to answer that. Requiring collection. John Hammond was concerned about what would happen if dinosaurs lived in the wild. It adds a whole new level of challenge and perhaps opportunity. Transported. Whew, I instantly recognize this dinosaur. Kind of hard to forget once you've been trapped in a room with one. We couldn't save that Baryonyx, but we can certainly help this one. There's not a lot out there for the dinosaur to consume. So we'll need a feeder inside the perimeter of that enclosure. Hungry dinosaurs make me nervous. Can't disagree with you there. Good to go on this end. Copy. Okay. We need to get a full assessment of the dinosaur's health. Utilize a ranger team vehicle. Owen will help you get a status of the animal's overall welfare. Then we can plan our next move.
Do we really need that? A plan? I mean, I've always been more of a just make it up as I go kind of guy. Tell you what, if this doesn't work, we'll try your way. Hmm, that sort of sounds like a plan. Asset status confirmed. While we can't replicate what we had on the islands, we still have to do what we can to get the dinosaurs more comfortable with their current surroundings here in Arizona. Sunscreen and drinks by the pool? How's that sound? Are you seriously asking? Or pretend asking? Okay, Claire, how about we add some preferred terrain to their pens instead? Better? We've got to monitor these dinosaurs more closely. That means setting up a ranger post inside their enclosure. It sounds crazy, I know, but this will work. Trust me. I'm getting reports of dinosaurs running freely around the facility, Claire. The reports may be accurate, but they don't paint a complete picture of our current status. Angry dinosaurs on the loose. What am I missing? They're not angry. They're simply acting on instincts. The more threatened the dinosaurs feel, the more hostile they'll become. Especially if they sense survival is at stake. But it is. Both theirs and ours. Yeah, but only we know that. Well, for now, anyway. We'll start by tranquilizing one of the dinosaurs from the helicopter, and then have a transport team bring it back to the facility. Great. Do it.
asset to be collected. En route to collect the asset. Collecting asset. Overall, I'd say our operations are improving. I'm confident we may get a handle on this yet. But I'm also concerned, specifically about our biodiversity. Still, for now, let's focus on getting the dinosaurs safe and secure, as well as building some additional viewing galleries the DFW staff can use to monitor the animals. I'll be able to track the dinosaurs, but some help would sure be appreciated. Claire tells me there are some candidates to recruit. Scientists. Hopefully you can find one as rough and tumble as I am. You seeing this, Claire? Yeah, I sure am. This is our first live capture opportunity. Let's not miss it. We should assign that scientist you just hired to the task. Agreed? Owen, you there? I think you're still muted. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, good idea. Uh, what have we got to lose? You know, except a, maybe a new recruit. Before the remote capture team's return, we should have enclosures ready for the dinosaurs. Think of it as welcoming them back home. Okay. Who's watching who? I'm not following you, Owen. Well, it's just like the dinosaurs are always watching us, so shouldn't we be watching them? Yes, we should. Once we have the dinosaurs comfortably settled into their enclosures, we'll need viewing galleries. That's what I'm saying. Only you said it. Owen. Owen. 
We have a real problem. I'm trying, Clara, but it's just... Well, this is who I am. Not you. Ah, the dinosaurs. Tell me something I don't know. Okay, how about this? There's a massive sandstorm headed our way, and it could wipe out the facility. Without power, the safety of the dinosaurs could be at serious risk. Everything we can do, we will do. We've survived worse. What's a little sand? I gotta say, I'm feeling pretty concerned about our current situation. As much as I'd obviously love to help out, I'm a little tied up. So, who's gonna protect the dinosaurs? And our personnel? Yes, of course. I mean, that goes without saying. I'm saying it anyway. It's just, it would be a tragedy to lose these animals again. And... By tragedy, I mean huge financial loss. And obviously an embarrassment to those in charge of the DFW. People such as you? Uh, well, actually, exactly me. So, how do we avoid that? Okay, step one. Round up the stragglers and get all the dinosaurs back into their enclosures. Then we'll work on our safety ratings. This good? Yes, this is a plan I can support now and take credit for later. <laughs> Arizona was secure. The dinosaurs were safe. Finch and the DFW had what they needed to keep the bureaucrats off our backs. For now. But the future? That was something completely different. I wish we'd had more time to brief you, but as you know, the situation is fluid. Our Canadian friends are concerned that many of these wild animals are getting close to their border. We'd like to prevent them from crossing it. We being the CIA. My division is the DSD. Dangerous Species Division. I'm Dr. Dua. I have an extensive background in paleo research in this very field. At Jurassic World, and now... Other locations I'm not at liberty to discuss. However, I have history with many of the people involved here. A poacher camp. What remains of it, anyway? Amateurs. They only succeeded in getting themselves and others killed. And making our job that much more difficult. Dr. Dua, the dinosaurs are still agitated. Tranquilizing them would appear to be the best option at this point. Let's do it as safely and quickly as we can. Just as an organization has key players, <coughs> me, <coughs> it also has key facilities that it needs to run effectively. So you should get started with the construction of an arrival building, a control center, and also a backup generator to supply power.
they had dangerous animals here? Correct, Mr. Finch. We know where they were. But now, Mr. Grady, it's essential that we know where they are. I know my dinosaurs. I'd say they're headed off in this direction. And do you know your dinosaurs, Mr. Grady? Better than anyone. But these are not your dinosaurs, per se. Well, you're just gonna have to trust me on this one. This looks promising. You know, not that I'm promising anything. Everything points in this direction. Quickly, but not too quickly. You'll trigger their instinct to chase. Now move, move! Owen, Owen, are you okay? What is happening? Little busy right now. Please tell me you have things under control. Do you want me to lie? If it'll calm my anxiety, yes. I'm a bundle of raw nerves. We're working the problem. We have a helicopter standing by, and they'll attempt to tranquilize the animal from the air. Attempt! Attempt! <laughs> we need success, Dr. Dua, before it can eat Grady and the others. No, please don't say that. You believe in the team, right? Do you want me to lie? What's our status? We're close. We have everything almost under control, but the animal is injured. We'll need to get her to a secure enclosure for observation and treatment. I'll notify Dr. Dua. Oh, me? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. transportation in pro
Asset transportation underway. Acknowledging asset collection request. Asset delivered. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye